Deploying computers is a common task that will be assigned to you as a student technician. It is important for you to know and understand the proper process for doing so. We have customized a series of steps for conducting deployments. This video will walk you through each step in the process. Goal is to familiarize you with the deployment process it would also prepare you for additional job shadowing training that will later follow. So let's get started. Before a computer can be deployed, you must verify that it has been imaged with the standard software package, which includes Microsoft Office. It has been named and placed in the proper organizational unit so that it may receive the correct map drives and printers, and that an appointment has been scheduled with the client so they know when to expect you to set up the computer. The deployment process includes the following delivering computer equipment to the client's location, engaging the client, performing a software assessment, backing up files on the current computer, setting up the new computer, performing a file restore on the new computer, installing non-standard software, printer testing, and labeling and removing the old equipment. Now we will walk through each step. Before leaving for your appointment, make sure to gather all the equipment necessary for the deployment, including cables. If this is a first time visit, be sure to get directions before you leave. Also have the client's contact information available. Allow enough time for traveling and loading and unloading the equipment. Upon arrival, ask for the client. Be sure to greet and introduce yourself to them. Confirm why you are there and give them an approximate time for completion. Appointments are usually scheduled for an hour, but may vary depending upon how much data that needs to be backed up. Conduct a brief software assessment on the client's current computer. Look for any non-standard software. Be sure to make note of any software that you find. You will need to ask the client to provide you with the installation disk and the license keys for any specialized software they may have. This can also be installed at a later date if the client does not have access to this information. Use Windows Easy Transfer software to back up the client's computer. Because multiple users may log in to use this computer, make sure to back up all user folders. Give the backup file a proper name and save it to a network or an external drive. Larger files over 10 gigabytes should be saved to an external drive to speed up the process. Now it's time to disconnect the old computer and set up the new one. Make sure to keep computer cables neat and out of the way. We want to practice good cable management. Now that you have the new computer set up, Go ahead and log in, locate, and run the client's backup file. It will launch the Windows Easy Transfer software, which we use to back up the files. Make sure to restore all user folders to the new computer. Once the files are restored, install any non-standard software identified earlier in the software assessment. The client should have already provided you with the software installation disk and the license keys. University license software may be found in the application catalog. Check that all required printers have been added to the new computer, including network and local printers. You may have to install drivers for attached devices such as printers and scanners. Make sure to send test pages to each printer that is added to the computer. Log out of the computer and have the client log in. Make sure they are able to access all job-related applications such as Kronos and Banner. Make sure they have access to all their files, those that are stored locally, and those that are on the shared network drives. Now that the deployment process has been completed, please refer the client to contact the support desk if they run into any problems in the future. Label the computer with the client's name and move it to the requested location. 
For your first task, you will accompany an experienced technician on a real deployment. Observe techniques, client interaction, and the overall process. Be sure to ask questions, because in your second task, you will take the lead for the deployment. Recall what you learned previously from the video and your initial job shadowing training. Your trainer will act as a coach and guide you through the process. You will receive feedback from your trainer throughout your hands-on training. At the end of your second task, you will receive a questionnaire to assess your performance. Your trainer will offer suggestions to improve your workflow process. And they will also determine if any additional training is necessary. Remember, practice makes perfect and you will have plenty of opportunities to master deployments.